The four lamy worm is a pest with American origin. What it means is that it has hitherto only been found in America. But until 2016, when it was first identified here in Africa. In Ghana here, it was first identified in the eastern region, precisely around Somania, where they first found it. And that was in 2016. By the end of 2017, it has spread to every part of the country. It was actually collected from all the 10 regions of the country. Guy being a state institution, we have realized that there is a need for us to take action and see how we can contribute with the technology, unique technologies we have here to solve this problem. So we quickly established a colony of the four Lamy women in our laboratories and we have been carrying out experiments on the basic biology and looking at how the various insecticides we have on the market can be used to control this pest. We started the colony by sketching around Accra area to collect larvae and eggs of the four lamy worm from the environment. We brought the larvae to our insect tree. Then we fed them with fresh cut base leaves till they pupated. We kept the pupae and then they became adults for a while. Then we started harvesting eggs from the adults. So we've been running bioassays with the different insecticides in the laboratory. And then we have carried out one field trial. That was in the latter part of 2017. We carried out a field trial with a new product which is not yet registered on the market. And it has shown great, great promise to control the pest. The company that contracted us to run the trial is in the process of registering that product. When we got our first eggs, we incubated the eggs. Actually, we were trying to establish a colony. So we were trying to study the biology of the four lamy worm. The eggs were hatched into larvae between two to three days time. And the newly hatched larvae were giving fresh cut maize leaves in plastic containers. Then they develop from day one and their development takes between 14 to 17 days. Then they pupate. We take the pupae out of the container, then we keep them in glass valves. The pupae also take between eight and 10 days to emerge as adults. We keep them in adult cage and then they are giving maize seedlings inside the cage. We are just trying to mimic what is on the field. So they will feel like they are in the maize farm. Then they lay the eggs onto the maize leaves. We pick the eggs and the eggs are incubated and then the cycle goes on. Actually, the, in an insect tree, the cycle takes between 30 to 35 days for the eggs to develop through the stages to the adult stage. We are preparing to start another round of field trials and laboratory experiments to screen a number of um, insecticides that are already available on the market so that we can come up with empirical data to support the use of these insecticides for fall and worm control in the country. When I talk about empirical data, we need to know how much of the insecticide will kill them, what are the field application rates, what are the frequencies of application in the field. We need to establish all these things so that we can provide recommendations based on informed evidence. The eggs are actually laid in cluster in a mass. When you critically look at the eggs under microscope, you see that it, when they lay the eggs, they also lay substances like nets covering the eggs to give the eggs some form of protection. The larvae also has stages that it goes through. It actually has six insta larva stage from L1 to L6. As soon as they are hatched, they are at the L1 stage, very tiny. You hardly see them, but under the microscope it is clear. Then from there, they move through the stages. Gradually as they feed, day by day, they move to 
the other stages so they get to the L6 stage where they are fully matured. When they fully become pupae, you see that they move, but they are not feeding. Even on the field, you see them around, but they are not destructive, they are not feeding. It is the larval stage that actually causes the harm. And unfortunately, that is the period that also stays for long. Between 14 to 17 days, they will still be feeding and they are active, they are mobile, they have sharp teeth that look like blade that they use to feed. But during that stage, they are also carnivorous. So at that stage, if there's no feed for them in the insect tree, they try to bite each other, they start bleeding and then die off. I don't think we need to go to sleep because Gaek is doing something to find solution. But together with other researchers in the universities and other research institutions, we all must put our hands on deck. Even the farmers, they are critical observations in the field who provide us vital information on the behavior of this pest in the field, which we can take advantage of to control them. There are several control measures that we can explore. The adults also is a type of insect that doesn't stay for long. The longest it can stay is seven days. According to literature and the work that we have also done in, the, in our insect tree, unlike any other insects, when they are hatched, we have to wait for them to get matured sexually. But the fall armyworm isn't like that. As soon as they emerge as adults, they mate and then they are laying eggs. So if a fall armyworm emerges today as an adult, tomorrow it can lay eggs. Scouting is very important. So as soon as you plant, you need to start scouting. Once the plants germinate, scout through your farm. Look out for the eggs and the larvae and the kind of damage they are, they are causing on the crops. As soon as you identify their presence and it, their presence is becoming significant, put in the appropriate control measure. As I said earlier, we need to be very judicious in the use of insecticides. So use only recommended insecticides. The PPRSD has come up with a list of insecticides that they recommend for use against the fall armyworm. Look for insecticides that belong to that list and use only those ones. And also follow the instructions on the label and apply the appropriate dose so that you will kill them and not risk uh, producing any resistant populations in the wild.